We're about to have brunch at U.S. Egg, selected by the readers of Phoenix Magazine as their favorite brunch spot. And when I go out to a restaurant, I like to be with a food expert to kind of guide you through all of the nuances of what stands out, what makes a great meal, great experience, and you know, really what the food scene is like through the Valley of the Sun. So we have none other than Nikki Buchanan. And there's no one better to share a meal with. Valley Foodies know Nikki Buchanan's work as a food writer for Phoenix Magazine and previously The Republic and The New Times. But if you don't recognize her, well, that's by design, helped out by a great wig collection. She wants the front of the house and the kitchen of the restaurants she reviews to deliver the same experience to her as they will for you. I mean, it sounds crazy, but I don't want to be treated specially. I want to see how do they behave with anyone. So I want to be the everyman and just find out what that will be like. So has anybody ever caught on? Oh, Lord, yes. Uh but today there's no mystery. We're here to enjoy what Phoenix Magazine readers voted the best brunch in town. It could be the U.S. Eggs Mimosa Flight or their version of a Bloody Mary called the Tailgater. We're going to write up this, this Bloody Mary right now. Mm -hmm. What are we going to say so far? I guess we're going to say that it's, it's not entirely traditional. We've been seeing more bacon lately, but I love the olive and dill pickle trend. Yeah. It's like you've got a snack and a glass. <laughs> Say we all want to learn a little bit more about how to appreciate sort of the new, you know, the nuances of, of some place that really stands out or some place that's made to last. Well, honestly, I don't think I'm that much different from you or anyone else. If I walk into a place and it's beautiful, I'm excited right off the bat, right? But your expectations might also be a little bit higher mm -hmm. because you see that someone has put care into, into what they're doing. There are plenty in town that deliver, and she thinks Phoenix is still underrated as a foodie destination. Among her all-time favorites, F&B, Rancho Pino, Confluence, and Trotto. So what would be her very last perfect meal? I love Trotto. That's probably my, con and Confluence. Those are probably my two, like, last meals on earth. Okay. Yeah. So is it weird that I would go with the tacos from Jack in the Box? And no, it fries? is not. <laughs> <laughs> For now, we'll thoroughly enjoy this California Benedict and celebrate the meal that's better than breakfast and arrives a lot sooner than lunch.